Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog. By the way, I'm wearing my retainers. So if I speak with a lisp, it's because of the retainers, you know? <clears throat> you can tell that I've just woken up when you see this like tuft of hair just kind of standing on the back of my head. That's what happens when you sleep with your hair wet, Jessica. I don't think I have enough brain cells to function at the moment. My voice is also roughly an octave lower when I haven't had coffee. So you guys know what we're gonna do today, right? We're gonna get some vitamin C. But also, we have an additional side quest today. I'm going to get an ID picture taken. I'm not sure how many of you guys suffer from the same fate as I do, but I do believe I have been cursed with terrible ID pictures. My history with ID pictures has always been tragic. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, you know how hard it's been for me. Some people just have this miraculous ability to look amazing in all their ID pictures. I don't have that. This is what we're working with. What's even worse is that I got my passport picture taken, was it one or two years ago? This was after I went on a trip to Boracay. I was so tan. And on top of that, I was like, how can I make my jawline look slimmer in my picture? So I tilted it up. Little did I know that that does the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. And that passport is gonna be valid for 10 years. <sighs> I feel like God forsakes me every time I go in to get an ID picture. I'm at this point in my life where I just want one good ID picture for my self-esteem. And today, I've put on some makeup. I took care of my skin. Although I ate a lot of chocolate last night and I think my skin is flaring up. I've got on this nice crisp button-up shirt and my hair is doing its own thing as it usually does but you know we're gonna try to work with it and see if i can actually get something half decent but more than that i have an asymmetrical smile and i look like i'm smirking in all my id pictures is it showing i can't see mm, yeah it's still pretty asymmetrical hopefully the photo studio can do their magic i don't have much hope but you know content right my voice is so low in the morning this is what happens when you haven't had coffee and you start vlogging you're not the most alive so i'm sorry let's let's change that let's become alive i've got my hair clips i've got my hairbrush and some lip balm so that i don't look too crusty still can't find my will to live uh, we're gonna leave that wherever it is and just just gonna go out today man okay yeah. Come on. Hello. Where are you going? Where are you? <laughs> Get my ID picture taken. You wanna say hi? No, 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 no. Thank you. Little lang there. Me. <laughs> no. Yes, mom. I feel just so many Impossible. I think I destroy that. Love you, mama. I'm leaving up on Thursday. Hi, babies. Hi. Oh, <laughs> so many dogs. Frankie, I miss you. Hi, hi, oh. Hi, Zaya. Hi, baby. Excuse me po, dadaan lang po. Forget about the past. 
later. Hey guys, editor Shankly here. The audio in these clips were really bad, and instead of murdering your eardrums, I thought it would be better to do a voiceover. I don't know how to do a voiceover without making everything cringe, so I'm sorry. I'm just gonna narrate everything I did. Basically, I found this nice quiet spot at the mall, and I was talking about how nice it would be to vlog out in public, except for the fact that Filipinos love to stare, and I just get so self-conscious and here's the clip of me being weird out in public as you know i had just finished at the photo studio at this point the photographer was telling me to do a wacky pose which they don't usually do but because me and kuya were friends he was like okay mom wacky pose and i was like okay kuya whatever you say and i was surprised with the results because i think it is going to turn out good but you will see later in this video here i am getting attacked by a fly i just got a milk tea drink to pass the time while waiting for the picture and someone nice wrote have a nice day mom jessica okay that's the end of the voiceover hee <laughs> hee Before we get to the ID picture reveal, I just needed to address a few things. My friends have been cyberbullying me. One, for wearing a side part. My hair parts to the side naturally. You're bullying my genetics and that's mean. And two, I'm being targeted for wearing skinny jeans. You can bully me for that, I understand. My hair is looking pretty 2008 though, that's not the vibes. But you know, if you have the vibes, you might as well just rock the vibes, you know what I'm saying? By the way, if anyone is curious what drink I am having, this is the te or te ice from Nanyang. It's a super strong black tea milk tea with condensed milk and evaporated milk. I do not recommend drinking this past 3 p.m. based on my experience. You will be up until 3 a.m if you drink it at that time. Yeah, let's do the ID picture reveal now. What's wrong with me? Maybe I can do a what's in my bag also. How about, how about that? There it is. <coughs> you know, that really annoys me when people who are out in public sneeze or cough without covering their mouth. We just came through a global pandemic and you guys are just going to sneeze with your mouth wide open disgusting shit it was rude before the pandemic it's even more rude now so please guys cover your mouths when you sneeze or cough it's not that hard anyway back to our main agenda for today i feel like kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh. screw the rules i have money i don't think you guys are ready for this jelly I'm pretending I didn't see it, but I got the soft copy in my email, so I know what it looks like. Ta-da! Who is she? I don't know her. She looks kind of pretty. I think this is the first time in my life that I have an ID picture where I don't feel like a gremlin. I really wish I had taken a few videos at the photo studio, but they didn't allow cameras or video recording. And I was shy. The kuyas there were super cool, super colored guys. They were asking me, Mom, my lai kapuba? And I get that question a lot. I know I look ethnically ambiguous, and you know, I never know how to answer that question because... I tried asking my mom once, Mother, do we have any foreign blood in our bones? Foreign blood in our bones? What the fuck? And my mom was like, She didn't know. Neither does my dad. So whenever I get asked this question, I'm like, uh, I do not know kung may lahi ako. Meron siguro, pero not enough. Not enough to say I'm like quarter Chinese, half Chinese. I know we have some Spanish blood also because in the Philippines, a lot of Filipinos have some Spanish Chinese mixed blood, huh? I'm very happy with this. Thanks to the kuyas at the photo studio who did a great job taking my picture and editing it. I don't even <laughs> need this for anything. I just <sighs> wanted to feel better. Uh, but you know, I realized I don't have a thumbnail shot. 
We gotta get on. Kinahire ko talaga yung mga thumbnail shot ko, no? Anyway, thank you guys for joining me on my quest for the perfect ID picture. To be honest, I'm not like 100% happy with it. I'm very happy with this. It's the best so far, but we can we can do better. And I think maybe I'll try try again another time. Look, quest come to join us. Hi, Kathy, baby. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at this copy bear. Thumbnail shot. Let me show you guys some tricks. Cappy, sit! Thank you! No bat na po ako. Okay, I think I'll end the vlog here. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next vlog. Don't bite my fingers, chatay. Bye. <laughs>